Hi boys and girls, I hope you're okay. We're going to do a quick lesson this morning about some of the sounds that Mr Bear hears in our story, at Peace at Last, some of the sounds that keep him awake. We look at sounds a lot trying to listen and see if we can tell what they are to get us ready to listen and tell what letter sounds are. So today I'm going to play you some sounds that appear in our story that kept Mr Bear awake. And I want you to see if you can tell me what sound it is. So I'm going to play the sound, but I'm not going to show you it on the screen. And I want you to see if you can tell me and tell your adults who you're with what sound it is making. You can pause it as you go along if you want to talk about it. I'm going to flick to the sound and I'm going to play it and see if you can guess what sound it is. I think you could all hear that. Can anybody guess what sound that was? What was the sa that sound that kept Mr. Bear awake? Can you remember in the story? It's the bit in the story I'm interested to see if you can remember. Shall I show you a picture, see if that helps? That's right, that sound was Mrs. Bear snoring. And it's the sound that kept Mr. Bear awake was the snoring. So that's the first sound in the story that kept Mr. Bear awake. Can we listen to another sound and see if you can work out what sound this is? Remember, all these sounds are in the story. Let's see if you can work out what this sound is. was an interesting sound wasn't it it was in our story can you remember what made that sound and kept mr bear awake can i show you a picture to see if it helps it's this part of the story can you remember what was keeping mr bear awake Doo -doo 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 -doo. it was the clock and the cuckoo so it went tick 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 and then cuckoo cuckoo so that's that sound. Well then if you've got that right, let's have a look at what the next sound is. Can you remember where he went next? What room he went next? If you can remember what room he went next, that will help you with this sound. Have a listen. Okay, that was the next sound that kept Mr. Bear awake. Can you remember what room it was that he went next? Shall I show you the picture? There he is, he was in the kitchen. What do you think that noise was? It was the dripping tap. It was the tap dripping, wasn't it, that kept him awake? Right, let's listen to the next sound. Where did he go after the kitchen? That will help you. So if you've read this story, Listen carefully, all these will help you with this clues. Now play you the next sound. tricky because when we say this sound in the story we say it a bit differently to how and how it's actually made and if he gave the game away then I'll show you the picture see if you can work out what was making that sound what was making that sound in the garden it was the owl now when we say an owl sound in words we say doo -wit, doo -wit. but actually owls don't very often make that sound the sound we've just heard is more what like an owl sounds like in your garden. Now I'm going to play 
another sound from the garden. So it's an animal sound, but it doesn't always sound like we would say it. So if you can listen carefully, see if you can guess which animal this is. I don't know if you can remember, but Mr. Bear was woken by this animal. It says it was singing. And it's just up here. It's these cats singing. So that was the sound of the cats. Well done. You got those two animal sounds correct. Now think about where Mr. Bear went next. Where did he go next after the garden to sleep? He couldn't get to sleep in the garden, so he went somewhere else. This is our last sound. The last one that kept him awake. Well, it, he'd just gone off to sleep and he woke up to this sound. So listen carefully and see if you can work out what sound Mr. Bear woke up to. I think this might be my favourite sound. the sound he woke up to. So all those are the sounds happened at night. This one is in the morning. It's the sound that woke him up. Do you know what it is? I'll show you the picture from the book. What sound woke him up? That's right. It's the sound of the birds. We call that the morning song again, animals singing. So that was the sounds of the morning song of the birds waking up. Well done if you got those right. Well done if you could tell me which room Mr. Bear went into next because that means you can remember the order of the story and you can remember parts of the story which is a really good skill. Okay children if you want to listen to Mrs Riddle read piece at last again that story is on YouTube and you can do it there. If you want to listen to the sounds again you can just replay this. Okay guys well done, well done if you joined in, well done if you have a guess, that's a great effort. Some of those were really tricky so well done. Okay. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.